It's all about the data. Technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning and automation are becoming increasingly important to the textile industry. Here at ITMA, many companies are showcasing new machines, modules and software that increasingly streamline production and improve efficiency. Let's find out a few of the things the data can do. So I'm joined now by Professor Calvin Wong, the CEO of AidLab, and I wonder if you could start by telling us about the background of AidLab and some of its key activities. Uh, actually, AID Lab is a research uh, center uh, which is jointly established by the Hong Kong Polytechnic University and also the Royal College of Art uh, in UK. And our main purpose is to carry out uh, different types of research projects by integrating AI, I mean inter artificial intelligence, with design-related sectors, for example, fashion and textiles. And we really want to transform our research outcomes into some sort of uh, commercialized products and solutions. So you can change the color of the textile using an app? Yes, yes, for sure. Because we embed, you know, the optical fiber into the uh, needle fabric. And this kind of uh, needle structure, I mean the needle structure, um, has already been patterned. I'm now joined by Thomas Otterley, CEO of Rita, and I wonder if you could tell me first of all, how does the Essential Rita digital spinning suite create value from data? I think you know at the end, every spinning mill owner wants to have high quality of the yarn, high productivity of the whole operation, and wants to achieve the highest efficiency of the operations. And digitalization is a huge enabler of all those opportunities. And how can they take value from the data? Well, at the end, what you first do, you, you are starting a monitoring of the performance of the different machines. So with the monitoring, you can easily detect if there is a malfunctioning, if maybe a part of the quality is not as you would like to have it. is automation and digitalization in the continuous development of these machines? Uh, this is becoming very important. Automation, digitalization or innovation combined in everything is very important because our customers cannot easily find personnel anymore. So whatever we can repetitively automate, uh, starting in the war preparation uh, or handling and so on is very important. Digitization is really a way of even being closer in contact with our customers to remotely make sure that the machines are performing to the utmost level, and that we can make sure through data which we acquire that we can help them even better and thus have a better relationship. I'm joined now by Mark Shelton from Shelton Vision and your fault detection system for patterned fabrics, how does that work and what are its benefits? Uh, well, to make it work, you first of all got to have a, uh, a system that will detect plain fabrics very well and consistently um, to be able to then inspect patterned fabric. Uh, the way that the patterned fabric system works is it actually removes the pattern in software so you end up with a plain fabric and that plain fabric can then be inspected by the plain fabric capability. So unless you have a very good plain fabric inspection system, we're able to detect, detect all defects, to be able to classify defects in real time, to be able to grade defects in real time at 100 meters a minute, then you've got no chance of making a pattern fabric inspection system. I'm joined now by Kevin McCoy from New Balance and you were one of the keynote speakers at ITMA's Innovation Exchange session on automation and the digital future. Could you tell us what were your key messages? My keynote speaker was really about how New Balance is using automation and technology to enable our future, really taking advantage of our makers, our craftsmanship and merging that with technology. And how about automation? What do you think the benefits of that might be for New Balance? Really center around the safety of our makers. We look at automation as the vehicle to drive out ergonomic risk, to continue to drive up productivity and quality, and really put our position, our, our makers in the position where we can upskill them and remove them from frontline manufacturing folks into running the automation equipment that will help drive our future. This industry is moving at such a rapid pace, it's sometimes hard to keep up. 
But if ever there is the chance to be fully informed, it's here in Milan this week. Join us tomorrow for more.